In this video, we're going to find the length of the arc of x equals e to the t cosine t, y equals e to the t sine t, from t equals 0 to t equals pi. So the first thing that we need to do is find dx by dt and dy by dt. So dx by dt, we're going to have to use the product rule. So e to the t times the derivative of cosine t, so minus e to the t sine t, then plus second times the derivative of the first, so e to the t cosine t. Then we're going to need uh, dy by dt. So again, product rule, e to the t times the derivative of sine t, so e to the t cosine t, plus sine t times e to the t, um, well, the derivative of e to the t, just e to the t, so e to the t sine t, like so. Now, it, within the formula, we need to square both of these. So let's find those now. Ooh, equals. So squaring this, uh, I'm going to get this squared, which is e to the 2t sine squared t. Then I'm going to get that times that twice. So take away 2 e to the 2t sine t cosine t. And I'm then going to get this squared, so plus e to the 2t cosine squared t. Now we have to do the same for this one as well. So dy by dt all squared. So this one squared, so e to the 2t cosine squared t. That times that twice, so 2e to the 2t sine t cosine t. And then that squared, so e to the 2t sine squared t. OK, so the length of the arc will be the integral between 0 and pi of the square root of this squared, sorry, this plus this. So the square root, I'm going to get uh, two of those, so 2 e to the 2t sine squared t. They're cancelling one another out, and I'm going to get two of those. So plus 2e to the 2t cosine squared t dt. OK, let's see what this simplifies to. So I can factor the 2 out of the square root and have just have root 2. I can also factor out the e to the 2t. So the square root of e to the 2t is just e to the t. And I'll be left with the square root of sine squared plus cosine squared, which is just 1. And so this simplifies to this. So root 2 e to the t, we'll just integrate to root 2 e to the t, evaluated between 0 and pi. So substituting the pi, we're going to get root 2 e to the pi. Substituting the 0, we're just going to get take away root 2 times 1. And so you could just write that as root 2 e to the pi take away 1. And so that is the exact value of the arc length of this curve between t is 0 and t is pi.